Hello everybody, how is it hanging today? I'm just gonna continue working on my hollow bust I started a while back. And as usual, I just forgot to mute the stream. Sorry for the music everyone. Yeah, in fact, we do have a lot of snow and it's really cold. Well, not a lot. It's more ice than snow, I guess. But it's really cold. <sighs> but I love it. It's like negative 12 degree, I guess. <clears throat> oh, just, just gotta check out the Watch Me Work chat. So I think I'm gonna start adding some detail to the teeth now because they are just very smooth and flat. Also to the skull because this is not how it is supposed to look like. I think I'm just gonna start with the skull actually. And later on I might just might just dynamesh everything together and see if I can make this into something for 3D printing. I'm not sure if it's wor work on this project though. I guess my hands are shaking because it's so cold. Just turn up the radiator and hope it will help. I just hope it will help. Though I love the snow and I really want it to stay. It's getting really cold up here. I'm just gonna split all the hidden teeth so you can hide everything else and get a little bit better performance and better view on the teeth obviously. First of all, I'm just going to flatten everything. Nothing should be completely smooth. It's just not a thing. I wish I could like get the watch me work chat into my restream chat. That'd be great. 
but I think that's not supported at the moment. We will see. We will see. <coughs> Let me just pull my reference up real quick. All right. So what 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 parts do we even see? Breaking up the symmetry a little here. to make it look more interesting, I guess. So that was a little little too much there. <clears throat> also I'll have to merge down the skull and the actual skin. I might just do that. With the. Uh, ah, uh, no, no, no. Mm. Well, I was thinking I might just do that using the Dynamesh as well, but I still got all my layers activated on the skin detail and stuff, so I'm gonna merge it down later. it do more harm than good right now. Oh, and I still need to add some detail to those leather parts. I think I'm gonna switch to that real quick. And make sure symmetry is not active. Okay, very good. Oh, also, I should probably auto group the whole thing. And also add some more subdivision levels. So, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, 
Uh, I like Dark Souls, I'm just not amazing at it. Yeah, neither am I. I've played them all, but I suck if it comes to PvP. And it always comes to PvP, that's what it's about, I guess. But I really love the Dark Souls storytelling. It's great. You have to figure out everything on your own, I guess, but... That's what makes the game so interesting. Because there's storytelling everywhere. Every item description. Every enemy placement, even. It's really cool. And I like how they did that. Did a great job on <laughs> on everything, actually. So, why is that one part? I don't get that. Okay, never mind. It's not anymore. I'm gonna add some some noise to those as well, I guess. And I think I'm just gonna use the same noise modifier that I used on the armor, which is the one that I will not pronounce because I don't know how. Noise plug, Vernoi. <laughs> I don't want there to be too much basic noise in there. The plug and scale, do I need it bigger or smaller? Bigger. More strength. And maybe a little more basic noise, but on a smaller scale. Oh. Or not. Don't make too much. That's okay. Okay, next I'm gonna make those holes look a little bit more interesting as well. I can't wait for the Dark Souls 1 remake though. I think it will be out in May, but I'm not sure. Whenever, it will be great. Just the first Dark Souls all over again in Dark Souls 3 engine, as far as I know. And that's what I needed. That's what I need in my life. I don't even remember playing the first part so much. Oh, hey guys. Oh, I haven't haven't been looking at my chat so far. I'm really sorry about that. Um, that's not for any particular project right now. It's just for me because it's really fun and I love the Dark Souls games as, I, as I've mentioned before. Um, and I might try and do this for 3d printing as well but i'm not sure about that yet <laughs> i will try but i do have literally no experience in 3d printing yet 
but I really want to change that. So I might just dynamesh everything later and see if we can go on with that. Hey man, really appreciate your work on the payroll. Thanks. Thank you very much. And I've watched every stream. Not live, as I have a completely different time zone. Yeah, well, that's a problem for us as well sometimes. And just want to say that you do an amazing job. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> and yeah, the time zone problem. Yeah, it's, uh, I can f I feel you. Because um, usually when I'm streaming for a peer on with Trotter or Peter or who not, um, uh, most of the time it's like in the middle of the night for me. We start at, s most of the time we start at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and six, since I'm in Central European Time, 6 a.m. CST is midnight for me. <laughs> so 6, 6 p.m. I'm sorry, 6 p.m. is midnight for me. So we start at midnight. And when I stop streaming, it's usually like 4 a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> and I get that most Europeans are not up that late to watch Twitch. Especially not if it's not on a weekend. So I'm, I'm I'm really happy these people watching the the past broadcasts on YouTube as well. That's really cool. <clears throat> Where are you from then? I was thinking to doing of doing some more Star Wars streams for the European time zone as well. Just trying to push the leather in really gently and then smoothing everything out again. Just so it has a really, really slight height variation in it. So at some points. Switching to the flatten brush over here. Always flattening all of them corners. All the edges. That's what I was going what I wanted to say. Oh, also I have not been working down there. Oh, go back over there, thanks. Oh well, yeah, Australia is difficult again. <laughs> it's like, we have some Australian team members as well. Um, Getting 
like a meeting done with people from America, Europe and Australia at the same time is always sucks for two people. <laughs> It's like, it's like I'm in the middle and Australia is six hours ahead or seven or wherever you are in Australia and America is six or seven hours behind. So that's always a challenge. But it actually worked quite fine. We didn't have any problems yet. Well, right now it's um, 3 p.m. in the morning. Uh, 3 p.m. in the morning. It's 3 p.m. here. And over in America, Central Standard Time, it's 6 a.m. right now. Uh -oh. Oh, really, I have to go over those bolts as well. <laughs> so let's see if we can add uh, some leather texture to that. Not you, though. Also not these. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna use for the leather. Maybe some of those leathery skin. Like this one, for example. Yeah, sure, man. Have a good one. Good night, and thanks for dropping by. That is always very nice. Nope, that's not it. And again. Ah, shit, uh, I do have to hide all those again. And that's not the alpha I want to go with. I don't like it. Let's check this one then. As usual, I don't care about the Z intensity too much right now. Since I'm working in a layer, and I can down it off, uh, I can turn it down afterwards, anyways. So I'm just gonna draw away on those alphas, and then turn the intensity down afterwards, the layer intensity, that is.
and I'm, I might just go over the edges with the standard brush again. Make them look a little more used. Do some weathering. Also, I think I might just add another alpha on top of this one. But first of all, we're going to finish the, the edges as well and then turn down the layer intensity and see what what it will look like after that. Maybe we don't even need another layer of alphas on top. Uh, this one as well, no. This one, please. Yeah, thank you very much. And here we go. I think something is missing and the fakes as well. I'm not sure what yet, but I, I'm gonna revisit that as well. Also, if I'm really gonna try and make this work for 3D printing, I will have to change the beard obviously because i cannot 3d print fiber mesh yet all right actually i might have a better idea than that all righty so now we can turn down the the alpha layer Oh, it might still be a little too much. I'd like it to be a little less even. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. And I think I'm actually just gonna apply another layer. First of all, I'm gonna go over the edges with the standard brush though. So, back face masking is turned on, that's good. I need that. So the edges read a little better. Because that really changes, changes a lot. I might just make that a little smaller.
Actually, I think I'm just gonna do the outside because you won't be able to see the inside anyways. Or is it? No. But especially those parts need to come out a little better. And those bolts over here look kind of weird to me. I might have gone rogue on them with my move brush at some point. And that's why they look a little off. Ah, oh, dynamic brush size, trying to make a fool of me here. It looks a lot better, the leathery effect looks a lot better on the left one than on the right one. Actually, is that the left? Yes. Thought maybe I was looking at it upside down. <laughs> so I am actually gonna add another alpha. <clears throat> Let's see, what have we got? We've been using this one for the last... No, right? I don't think we have. Okay. Well, actually, it doesn't matter anyways. Oh, ah, yes, I forgot about those. And this is how leather straps are made. All right, that should be should be enough. Ah, looks a lot better already. 
All right, okay. Yeah, I guess that's fine with me, like this. Ooh, would you look at that. The armor plate was clipping through the cloth, so. Yeah, saving a little faster, maybe, please. I reckon we have the same problem over here. Not as strong though. Since they aren't symmetrical anyways. The cloth that is. The plate is pretty symmetric. All right. Also, I don't think it should be like, oh, come on. Uh, I see the stitching, okay. So I gotta combine all those first. Merging them down. And I skip that one. All right. So once more, that needs to be sheet. Wait, come back. Right, needs to be more like this, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. I need to go over all those bolts again as well. And somehow the ones on the back plate just disappeared, I guess. Yeah. Looks like they are just gone. Actually, I know that might crash ZBrush, but I think I'm just gonna see and 
Tro Did I just save or I don't know. I'm just gonna save again. I'm just gonna try and dynamash everything together. See if there's even the slightest possibility for this to work in 3D printing. First of all, I am gonna hide the fiber mesh. I'll have to change. I think I'll have to do it like this. So just her head hit merge visible. Hope ZBrush doesn't crash. Alrighty. Uh oh. Please respond, ZBrush. Come on. Ah, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Does it work? It does! Unbelievable. Who would have thought? So that's the old one. <laughs> I think that's what we had after the first stream, right? Yeah, that was where we ended the first stream and started off the second. It's the third today, I think. So this is actually the part where ZBrush might very well crash. Gonna go for it. I should have decimated it first. It's definitely gonna crash now, I think. <gasps> no way. It worked. Pretty good, actually. We just have to go a little higher on it, I think. Just a little. We can still decimate it down after that. Let's do around 2000k. 2k should be fine, I guess. Dynamash, Dynamash. Then we can plan ahead and see if we will have to cut some parts. That, that's actually working quite fine. The, those leather straps got destroyed somehow, but I might just delete them anyways. Oh, some of those don't look too good. But why is that? Hmm. 
And why is it with why is it happening to those? I don't know. The rest looks quite all right, though. Oh, I did not see that yet. There is... Need to move those in a little. Looks like I need to move those in. Although I think I should just cut off the pedestrian if I'm really gonna do that. But seeing that the Dynamash does work so fine, I think I'm just gonna try and merge the skull and the, the skin of the face now. Yeah, well, I guess it does. So let's see what will happen. Alright, that worked actually quite fine. We lost some detail though. What a beauty. Still need to flatten that a little. The zygomaticus muscle. Is those two over here? Or at least that's what they are supposed to be. And I just need to go a little inwards. The rotation is not my friend today. Alright, I'm not gonna do the dynamashing now, but in the very end. First of all, I'm gonna add some more detail to the leather straps down here and on the armor. Oh, 
So I'm just going to auto group that. And then hide it. And make it look a little, little better. Just using a very big. We're gonna completely ignore the lower side, the back. Uh, just using a really big flattened brush here. Take some of the smoothness away. Very good. Especially flattening those sides a little. And then, as we did before, I'm just gonna go over that just using a standard brush. Make them read a little better. And then after that, I'm just gonna apply the same leather alphas that we applied before. All right, so I'm just gonna add another layer, base. Get back all of those again. Get to my, no, don't colorize it, please. Get back to my standard brush. Oh, shoot, maybe we should add Another layer first. And then get going on on those edges a little. Yeah, one should be alright. Or maybe not. I mean, these straps are rather small.
All right, that should be enough. Adding another layer of uh, one. Started using this one, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, sure, I know, I know. Just some really annoying bugs with the layer system. But I don't know if there's a workaround for those. And again, as before, I'm going to turn the layer intensity down later, so I do not care too much about my Z intensity of the brush right now. Oh, yeah, right. I said we don't care about back because you won't be able to see that anyways. Um, this time I won't even make the holes worn out because I think there's some kind of metal around them. Actually I know there's metal around them so I don't care about those either. So now I'm just going to turn that down a lot and maybe this time I'll just apply just apply a basic noise to the whole thing. And yeah, for my layer description, I'm just using the brush hotkeys, so I know what I did in there. Works quite well for me, actually. Just make sure you name them somehow, um, because it can get really ugly if you have like 20 layers on a mesh and don't know which one does what. <laughs> Actually what's happening to me a lot is um, I forget that I'm working in layers and what was supposed to be in different layers turns up all in the same layer. That's pretty shitty as well. Because you can't really do about something about that when once it happened. <laughs> it's too late then. Yeah, let's get over here. make some of those leathery winkles a little deeper.
I will just need to reposition those a little. Also, I shouldn't forget about the bolts in his helmet. Because those had the same problem. And I need to think about something. What am I gonna do with the eye? Am I just gonna remove the left eye or? Hmm. All right, the bolts on the helmet. That's, that's what I'm gonna do next. Like this. Or did I have symmetry active? Nah, I did not. Okay. Mm. I just come down here then and rotate that a little. Not again. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously I'm on the wrong bolt. All right. All right, cool. So that's that. Um, what happened to those? Why are they? Why are they separated from? 
And where the hell are they? Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, let's see while well, it's loading. What are we gonna do? <laughs> All right, I might just restart ZBrush. Or sometimes it works. Let's hope it does this time. Let's hope it does. All right then, I'm just gonna kill ZBrush real quick. And see if that helps. I don't remember. When did I save the last time? ZBrush taking its sweet time here. There we go. Oh, five minutes ago. Should be fine, should be fine. Let's just hope it won't crash again. have to reposition those again well I guess so let's just first of all let's just combine those just merge them down Just matching them down. Gonna do the same thing over here again. I really need to eat something. Didn't didn't eat anything yet. And it's already almost half past four, isn't it? No, it's just four PM. Four PM. Uh 
All right, that seems fine. This one doesn't, though. Ah, yeah, of course, I can't split hidden because, <sighs> well. Gonna add a really slight like this. Making the eye pop a little, a little better, I guess. Uh, what next? All right, do I remove those down here or not? Because I kind of want to remove them. What am I going to do instead? I think I might just move them together. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna ignore them for now. Hope everything will be all right. Uh, adding some teeth. That's what you are. Okay. Adding some noise to the teeth first of all it needs to be smaller the strength should actually be okay like this since as soon as i hit apply it will s make it a little weaker anyways <clears throat> i'm gonna do the same thing to the skull I really need to turn that down now. No. Or is it up? <laughs> right. And I think I'm just gonna, gonna make two of them. Okay. Alright, I was wondering why those were destroyed when dynamashing. That was the overall reason. I was wondering if I should just remove them. So let's just dynamash and see what happens. No, it's gonna.
All right, well then, I think I'm just gonna have a break here and grab something to eat because I'm really hungry and I can't think right now. Let's just turn that specula up a little. Makes it look cooler. And safe. I want to add another material to the eyes. How about those? Oh no. All right, well, I guess. I'm just gonna add, add some materials to make it look a little more fun. No, I just add the material to that. I am confused. Fill object. Nope. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm just gonna gonna drop out. Have something to eat. Maybe get back on stream later. First of all, I wanted to change all the panels down in my Twitch, though, and add some nice options. So, yeah, thank you guys for dropping by, and I'll see you guys later on. Alright, bye-bye.